All right, in this video, we're just going to go over how to register a domain and how to incorporate that domain into your ClickFunnels account. Now, this video is made in, it's almost November of 2017. So just want to let you know that this is the way that the current ClickFunnels dashboard looks. If you're seeing something different, it could be that they have uh, redesigned the homepage as often is the case, and I'm happy about that. It shows that they truly are always seeking to improve their product, so I do like that. This is the most recent version dashboard of ClickFunnels as of late October 2017 going into November here. So a couple of things that you'll notice here is to like to see all your funnels, for example, uh, you know how to browse and, and look all the funnels. But let's say you have a domain name, you just got ClickFunnels and you want to hook up a domain name for your site. Well, you build the funnel first, which I'm going to assume that you know how to build the funnel. They're pretty straightforward and there's a bazillion videos by Russell Brunson himself that goes over how to build the um, funnels. But very few videos that really explain the whole um, adding a domain name and with how often they change stuff you kind of have to make sure that you're catching the most recent video so that's what this is doing for you saving you time and showing you the process so and a couple of other cool things the domain name for example is free when you go into the um, you have a new account set up and you go into where it says custom domains they'll allow you to get one free domain name so disregard that this says internet command system in here let's just say I want to add a domain name you have two options. You can either add your domain name from your current registrar, and registrars are like GoDaddy, uh, Network Solutions, Namecheap, uh, ThinkBigWebsites.net. Those are considered like domain registrars that will register your domain name and have it on file for the ICANN authorities. So if you already have a domain name that you want to use, fine, you could just say use existing domains. In this video, we're going to go over if you need to register a new domain. So if this is your first time in here, you click find domain. I'm going to type in um, get your domain name here. And if that was available, I could just choose, you know, boom, choose it right here. It'll say get. And you notice how it doesn't list any pricing is because the first one is actually free. So let me just click on this, get. And you'll see it will say in the new branded version of ClickFunnels Hot Diggity Dang, get your domain.org is available. And I could use a free domain. So if I choose this right here, it will register it for me. And I'm going to show you some screenshots of some of the training that they have provided us to illustrate this because I do not want to register this domain. So let me pause this for one second. So in this training video produced by ClickFunnels, you'll see that the domain name that they searched for was available. It's just like the last part that I left off on. And he's going to choose to use that free domain. And now it's going to want to make sure that it's connected to the ClickFunnels funnel that you have. And if you have, if you click check now like he did, and he did it too prematurely, it comes back and says, hey, we haven't been able to verify this because it hasn't propagated yet on the internet and all the little loose wires, if you want to use that as an example, haven't been connected yet and it's not been seen online as being a legitimate domain name tied into your ClickFunnels account. But if you give it some time and check back, it will connect. I've never ever seen it not work. And then it goes into this pending status like he's showing you here and then continue setup. The next thing it's going to do, it's going to say confirm you that you've connected it. Now it's going to ask you to do SSL, which is the security protocol that everybody's going to online. It's been a lot, been online for a very long time, but now it's be kind of becoming the minimum standard. You should have an SSL with your domain, which just gives you the ability to have HTTPS. So you click on secure it and then check the status of it. And it's gonna tell you that um, congratulations, everything is looking good. And now it's gonna allow you to choose to associate that domain name that they gave you for free with a funnel and that's what he's illustrating here. So now you'll select your funnel depending on what funnel you have created and that's all you have to do to establish a domain name with your ClickFunnels account. 